About on Friday, and then the other lady, I guess I just sent her over an offer. Then, what an lease option you sending out offers? Yeah, tell me about it more. Tell me more details. Well, the now, one the, lady, the one lady was uh on Friday, yeah, she uh she was basically saying that she agrees to the price, but she does not want the exclusive. What did I say? Exclusive. So what do we need to do? We need to rewrite the paperwork, for make her happy or what? What's, how yeah. do we solve the problem? Yep. That okay. and, uh, let's see what else she said. Um, and then I think she wanted some kind of way where if we get a buyer under contract, they have a 30 day, I mean a three day due diligence period per buyer. And she's willing to do uh, two months. It's a cash deal. Yeah. I don't see a problem with that. That sounds okay. cool. <laughs> Actually, that, that works quite well. All right. Because, so. you know, when you get your buyer interested in it and you send them over there, you're going to tell them, hey, you know, you've got three days to figure out if you're in or not, uh, in or out. Yeah. You know, but sign the paperwork now. But, you know, get your, get your dudes in there and check it out. And, uh, by Monday, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. And they will. They ain't got no problem with that. Nah, these fix and flipper dudes and, and other guys that are investors that, that do that, uh, buy and hold guys, they, they're they cool with that. They can do a three-day inspection period. Okay. So it sounds to me like the deal works pretty good. We just need it, to get the paperwork. It works. It just, we got to get the, I told her I would call with my partner to make sure everybody, you know, because I want to make sure there's nothing I'm missing. Oh, okay. I try to get the paperwork tied up. And from what she was saying, she was, you <laughs> know, with the paperwork okay. I sent her other than that. Okay. So what does she know so far? It sounds like she knows you're wholesaling it, right? She does. Okay. So not a problem. Not a problem. Uh, doesn't want it exclusive. She wants to be able to market right alongside you. Mm -hmm. And she wants our buyers to have no more than three day inspection period. Right. That's correct. And she wants us to, instead of, I think we said the contract was like 20 something days. She wants two months for us to find a buyer. She wants to give us more time. Yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> has this lady's cheese slid off her cracker or is she negotiating against herself here or what I, hey i don't know I was, hey, that's what she said <laughs> only thing being honest that i am concerned about the property she said that it's seven thousand dollars in work however i don't know if that's true or not but she meant 70 <laughs> yeah uh okay well, uh, is there any indication of that that you can see on Zillow or any of the social media stuff where you can see it's all jacked up looking? Yeah, the picture on, on Zillow, cause, but she says she, she's an investor, like she does work. I don't know if it's updated, but on there, it looks, it looks a little rough. How many square feet is it? Uh, let me pull it back up. I think it, it was, I think it was like 1,200 square feet, if I remember correctly. Okay. And uh, 1,200 square feet of need to be repaired can be a bunch of money. Is it in a decent part of town? Um, I think they're starting to, uh, to do uh, a little gentrification. And what's the ARV, you think? Well, it wasn't a whole lot to look at as far as being repaired already done but i did see one that sold for uh 291 okay that was similar in size to what hers would be like if it were um up to date and she's asking what what i have her down for she asked for that one she asked one One 
180. Okay. And repairs. That's a mystery right now, but uh, okay. She wants two months, three day inspection period. Uh, and the yeah. other and the other thing was what two months, three day inspection period, and what two months, three day inspection period, and non exclusive. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm looking at the zestimate, but you know the zestimate is normally. Off on Willow, it says 126. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. But the house, I'm telling you, the house on you look at Zillow, it looked it looked kind of bad. <laughs> okay, so what's the uh uh what's the year it was built? What, is this an old century old deal? Yes, I'm just looking at it. This uh it's it's like, it was, like it was built 1908. 19 no, I don't know. I would say it's probably, yeah, I was thinking at 1920. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I can tell you this one here. My experience has been at, in this ARV of 291, asking price is 180. It's 1,200 square feet, you say? Mm-hmm. How many floors is it? One, one level? Yep, it's one level. Okay, we're probably talking realistically, you know, 40, 45K probably, maybe more in repairs. Okay. If it's cosmetic stuff inside and out, that stuff's pricey nowadays. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's to make it like a, like, like cherry, like showroom floor, like these that guys like was that I looked at for the two ninety one. It was like it was cherry, yeah, yeah. like it was mouth watering, right? Right, uh huh. Yeah, in order to make it that, at and get two ninety one out of it, you'd have to do at least forty five thousand, probably maybe more, uh, and mm, let's do the math. Okay. Uh, two ninety one times point seven five equals what? You got a calculator on you? I'm unlocking my phone now. Okay. Two ninety one times point seven five. So we're gonna do a seventy five percent formula on this one. Two eighteen. Okay. Two eighteen minus forty five. 173. Minus 10K for you in your pocket. 163. That's your, max, that's your maximum allowable offer on this deal. Okay. And she's asking 180. Yeah. So, what do you think? <laughs> I mean, I, she's, she said she wanted the 180. I mean, I... I, well, I had already gave her the offer for 180, but I don't think it's going to, I don't think it's going to, if it's, if it's like that picture on Zillow, nobody's going to want it. Yeah. And that's, that's what I'm thinking. Work already that yeah. she just didn't finish up on. Yeah. That's my thought too. Uh, if she were asking, you know, like I was saying, what was it? Uh, what was the maximum allowable offer again? One. One sixty-three, one twenty-five. Yeah. Uh, she's uh, she's wanting one eighty. So you're only asking her to come down. You know, uh, that's seventeen thousand dollars. That's not that bad. But I think this lady sounds crazy as hell, don't you? Mm, yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're talking to a crazy lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just well, I'm messing with you, but no, I mean, <laughs> she kind of might. She kind of sounds crazy. Like she's like, no, I want to give you longer, and <laughs> uh, here it's your call, Mina. 
okay, so <laughs> if you think no one is going to buy it, do you want to I waste time chasing it? Or do you want to try to negotiate lower, option B, or do you want to do something different? What do you think? I don't think I should have sent her the paperwork for 180. I think I kind of jumped too quick on that. Well, okay. Uh, Maybe. Uh, you know, we've kind of thought through all the details, and that's what we're doing. That's what I do. Well, that's, what you, that's what you pay me for. <laughs> uh, so, hey, it's all good. Uh, I'd rather you err in sending paperwork than to air and not send in paperwork yet. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. So, uh, what you could do is, is we could go ahead and we could lock it in with her at 180 with the deal that she's proposed back to you, which is non exclusive three day inspection period and two months to do it. Um, uh, or we, we could lock it in and then go back to her and try to get it, re, you know, re renegotiated down after the fact or we could try to renegotiate down now or we could walk because she's crazy it's up to you <laughs> <laughs> maybe i'm crazy oh, i don't know but it's i i think you're right the deal's too expensive that's what i think i mean this these old Okay, and here's the real rub on this. And I only know this because I've had some really shitty experiences. And these fix and flip deals, like in this part of town where these houses are century old like this, like everything is way more difficult and expensive. If you have to get inside the walls, tear off the, you know, tear off the, uh, it's not sheetrock. What is it? What do they call that? drywall i don't know plaster yeah Pla okay yeah, yeah yeah so if they if you tear off the plaster then you know a lot of times you have to redo framing and there's all kinds of things that you know can come into these century old houses because they're not up to code for modern standards right so when you get into them you can really jack uh jack up the price on rehab costs um, so basically uh, my my gut is telling me that uh we are overbid, but she doesn't sound very motivated, neither does she. Well, she went through to this whole thing. She's an invest. She's an investor herself. She's saying that she's tired. She can put work into these houses and story. Her, her brother just died, and I, <laughs> so I don't know. Okay. Um. What do you want to do? What happens next, Amanda? This is your deal. So you tell me, how would you like to handle this one? Where would you, you'd be like, I'm done. If it was you, on to the next one. If it was me, I'd call her back one last time and say, hey, listen, I've had my dudes look into this and there's no way I can go beyond like 163. And that's top dollar. I'm not bullshitting you. I mean, I can't, I can't, I can't counter off her with you or nothing. I mean, that's just it, 163. Okay. And, and then, you know, but I'm cool with this non-exclusive stuff and I'm cool with the, the three day inspection period and I'm cool with the, the two months and all that. And we'll write up the paperwork, but, uh, if you're, is 163 something that's comfortable for you or probably not. And just see what she says. She's going to say no. Right. Yeah, you think it's a waste of just let it go. <laughs> it's a waste of time. <laughs> I think so. I think I would let it go if it were me. I'd okay. let it go. Because I don't think you can I would follow up with that lady again maybe in a couple two, three weeks, maybe. Okay. Let her get over the grieving of her brother and, you know, maybe come back down to reality a little bit. She seems really weird. She seems weird. She's asking for strange things. I don't really understand. I've never seen anybody do that before. <laughs> non exclusive. I've never I seen. Think I can see the non exclusive because somebody might be like, if I sell, I might sell it before you can. Yeah, yeah. But, I've seen that. Yeah. Um, 
but I've never seen them try to require that I give my buyers three days. Like what difference does it make if I've got two months to do it? Why do I have to limit people to three days? She was saying something like she got burned on another deal before where she had the house locked down where they had 25 day inspection period. And oh, well, good God. No, no. Yeah. We wouldn't do anything like that. We do, you know, usually, usually no inspection period, to be honest with you. <laughs> I usually just do no inspection period. I mean, and so three days. Well, yeah. That's like, that's like a thousand times longer than I was planning. Okay. <laughs> uh, what's the date? Today is what? Yeah. November the 4th. Maybe I'll call her back before Thanksgiving. Perfect. Perfect. Add it Perfect. to my calendar. Because see right now she's stuck. You and I both know she's stuck on 180 and she ain't coming down. But here in two or three weeks after, after running against the wall, maybe she'll be like, yeah, 163, eh? Okay. I could do that. Yeah. Other than that, you know, that's all I can think about this deal. Hey, what's the other deal you're talking about? Okay. No, I'm right. I'm taking notes. So I don't forget. All right. Um. Now, the other deal, I actually saw, I don't know what happened with this deal, but I actually saw it listed for rent on there on Friday on Zillow. Say so, say that again. You you found it on Zillow. Yeah, it was listed for rent on Friday, so I you know I added to call for today. I called her today. I looked on there today again, and it's off for rent. I don't know what she's doing or whatever, but she says that she is moved out of town, and I guess she got the deal where um, she has to live in the house for so many years within a five period, five year period of time so that she doesn't get charged capital gains tax and all that. Okay. Uh, she got the house, what is she, half of the house. It sound, I, I didn't really get too much into the half. It sounded like she might've went through a divorce or something. She said, I got half the house in 2015 and then I got the whole house in 2017. Okay. So she needs to sell it by February 2020, but she's willing to do an option till September 20, I mean, uh, uh, at least to September 2021. She's willing to do a lease option deal with you, with you until September 2021. Mm-hmm. That's perfect. That's wonderful. Let's, let's get it signed up. Let's, okay. ink it, let's ink it up. <laughs> I, that one will do that, work, I mean, work well, on today. <laughs> say it again. That one will work on today, then. The other one. Like, okay. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. See, that sounds way better to me. Um, I don't know if I fully understand all the details, but it's from what I do understand, it sounds right, right on. Uh, what's the? Let's analyze it real quick, though. Let's talk about it. And make sure we're we're dealing with uh, the right stuff. <laughs> I probably have to, I probably need to go in and run numbers, but she had it listed for rent for sixteen for fifteen ninety five a month. She says that she she wants um one seventy one, and that's pretty much what it's worth one seventy one and one seventy two. I don't see a problem with either one of those things. Do you? No, that one seems more straightforward than the other one. Heck yeah! <laughs> Get that paperwork out. Ink it up, call her, let her know. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you know, I got my headphones on and in the background, just very, very low, I got I got music playing. You know, like oh, okay. you know, like like some people have music in their office a little bit low, yeah. you know. Well, I don't have it pumping out everywhere, but I do have it real, 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 real light in my headphones. And I <laughs> I lost my train of thought just then because most of the time I don't even pay attention to it. Like I don't, I don't even know what's there, but like it's, it's happens to be all eyes on me by Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> and I was all like, that's a great deal. You better eat that one up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All eyes on you. 
that's what we need to do is we need to put this on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this has been a great session. I think so. I don't, I don't like the way my hair is looking on this session, but. Uh, it looks fine. You look fine. You're going to be a superstar. <laughs> I bet we get lots of comments actually about how people are like, man, that was a great session. You know, learned a lot. So, um, yeah. Uh, ink that one up. What needs to happen for you to be able to get that paperwork? Uh, just fill it out and send it over to her on that one. Okay. So that, that'll be a good deal. And then we need to start talking about how you're going to market that property and sell it. Yeah. How are you going to show that property? Is she, is she around? Is she local? No, nah, she said she moved. She, she relocated. Okay. You're going to want to, you're going to want to find out how access can be gained. Okay. Let me break that down. You know what I mean? Yep. Let's man. I like that. That's great news. Great news, Amina. That sounds like that's a good deal. Um, and that's like bread and butter. You know, it's like 16, what'd you say, 16.50 a month, and it's like 177. Rent seems a little steep, but maybe it's maybe it's rent's kind of high in Atlanta. It is. Um, it's 15.95 a month and uh Oh, okay. Yeah, the price is uh between she said 171, 172. That's not bad. That's not bad for a lease option deal. Uh Perfect. And if she's gone out of town, hey, is this close enough you can drive to it? I don't think so. What? I don't, where, I don't even know where Martinez, Georgia is. <laughs> Let me see. How oh, far this, I thought this was local. I thought this was in Atlanta. Nah. Well, I'm still even far from Atlanta. Well, how far away are you from Atlanta? Depending on where at, like uh, in the traffic, like at least an hour. Yeah, that's crazy. Don't they have like a 18 lane highway or something? <laughs> it's a lot of as you go closer to Atlanta, it's a lot of lanes down there that the people drive absolutely crazy. Yeah. I've been down there once or twice. And it's like it's normal for, uh, to get into a car accident down there. People just they don't care. You got to cross like all these lanes to get over. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Rush. Are you looking up where this place is at? That's exactly what I'm doing now. Yeah. Okay. Two hours and 35 minutes away. Okay. Okay. Well, then you need to ask her, uh, you know, who's got the key and who can let, you know, let folk in to take a look okay. because you're going to have to do that at some point. Right. And then, yeah. so all is not lost. I'm sure she has a plan for this or maybe she's got a lockbox on it. I don't know. Uh, but you'll want to ask. Okay. But that's a logistical thing, you know? Yeah. The great part is that you're getting the deal. So congratulations there. Thank I'm gonna, you. I'm going to ring the bell for you. <laughs> I told somebody I was going to get a gong. I'm still planning on it. <laughs> okay. All eyes on me just finally went off. So that's great. Now I can pay it. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Um, I think you're doing great, man. How you feel? I think I mean I really to be honest with you, I think this strategy is working better because these people already Yeah see, most of had a good portion of them they do have a little motivation instead of just like cold calling and it's it's working a lot better. So how did how many calls did you make in order to get this? You know? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say, well, between I've been calling probably I've been talking to about 15 people, I would say, over the past Thursday, Friday. And then uh, I returned the other lady's calls Saturday again. So I told her I yeah. would call her back. And then I called some today, too. So Cool. About so, 15. I talked to about 15, I would say. Okay. So you got uh, about 15 calls that you had to make. And then 
out of that, you had two deals to kind of analyze and, and one, one out of those to move forward with in, in some way or another. That's yeah. not too bad. If you think about that, you know, uh, that kind of lays out for you what the plan would be then, you know, like every 15 calls or so, you know, you should expect to have a couple, couple really good conversations and, uh, you know, one, one of those will be a, a good offer that you're going to throw out there and you want to shoot to do this four or five times in a month, you know, uh, have, yeah. you know, have, uh, have four or five of these things cooking at all times. Okay. That's what I recommend. You're doing great though. Doing great. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Yeah. Excellent job. Yep. I wish everybody was as uh, diligent as you are. You're very diligent about doing the work, you know, I appreciate that. I respect the hell out of you for that. Good job. Proud of you. So, just stay the course, get some more deals cooking. And uh, once you get this deal signed, uh, we're going to want to market the property deal and get some money. <laughs> yeah. That sounds good too, don't it? But yeah. this one sounds good, man. I mean, this one here, you might be able to get a nice little check there in your pocket or, you know, bank, bank check, cashier's check. Yeah. The hip national bank. <laughs> hey, can they uh, cash that you know i'm just joking on that <laughs> uh well i I'm, I'm running out of time here amina so, so we go so get this one under contract and then where do we go from there just start i mean as far as once it's under contract we need to start selling that thing so if you want to book up with me again we'll talk about uh marketing that deal and getting getting it sold off Okay. And some strategies and some things you can do to make that happen. Shut up, money. Yes. Hey, thanks for watching. But don't forget to post, introduce yourself, tag a friend, like us, leave a comment, subscribe, share this video, just do something. Don't just sit there. There's all that money out there. You got to get going, get in motion. This is motion real estate.